our inpatient resident team is unique and it was built around the principles that it would be patient-centered in every way. We give the patient and the family a chance to be an interactive part of the decision-making process so they understand what's going on, they have a chance to ask us questions, and they get a chance to clarify any information about the diagnosis or the testing process that's going on. When we, when we were tasked with building the residency program, one of the things that Dr. Ellen talked a lot about was making sure that residents understood individualized medicine. Let's stop worrying about how micro wants you to learn Let's stop forgetting how PATH wants you to learn. Let's stop thinking about how, you know, histology wants you to learn. We're going to come together and say, this is the best stuff, best way to learn, and we're going to revamp the curriculum. Hey, I'm Dr. And to me, individualized medicine is patient-centered care because you have to think about that patient and say, what's going on in this patient's life? What are, what are the stressors that come up? What are the other factors that come into play? And it's really tasking the resident with getting to that deeper level and understanding that individual patient. A lot of the patients that we see are complex patients with a lot of um, complex medical diseases and the families are very involved in their child's care very actively day to day. We spend a lot of time in the room going through each body system and what's going on and not only what are we doing here in the hospital but what we're going to do when they go home. It benefits both us as a medical team and it benefits them as patients and family. It was Dr. William Osler who said that when you understand the patient, you understand the disease and that it's not the other way around. They go into the room not with a preset agenda of, I'm talking about the child with pneumonia. What we really encourage them to do is talk about this child with pneumonia. And so they go into the room and they think about, what's this family's health literacy? Because we're all physicians and we're surrounded by fantastic nurses and fantastic respiratory therapists who all know the language that we're talking in. But what we want our residents to do is to find out where the family is, what the family understands, and maybe more importantly, when it's a teenage patient, what the patient understands. I think as soon as parents are able to see that we're having a conversation with them rather than just dictating their child's care, they become much more comfortable. They also get to learn a lot more information about what's happening with their child, a chance to ask questions and understand everything that's going on. We're not trying to see 100 patients. Each resident has a role on the team. When the resident is taking care of the family and speaking with the family, our other residents have distinct roles. We have a pharmacist that rounds with us, which is great because a lot of the questions that we have, they can answer right there and then. So we're able to provide the patients and their families with those answers right away rather than having to leave and go make a phone call and then come back. That team effort is really a big part of our residents' roles. We have a team of an attending, kind of an upper level, so a second year will round with us as a teaching resident but act as an upper level as well. And we have our three interns. Hi. How are you feeling this morning? Still achy. Still achy, yeah. This is our team. I know you know everyone. Dr. Cruz is my upper level. Dr. Hidalgo is my co-intern, Dr. Kennedy is my attending, and then Nathan is our pharmacist. So this is the whole team. So just so everyone is on the same, and your nurse, of course. <laughs> just so everyone's on the same page. So you had your gallbladder removed yesterday. How are you feeling? The upper level's kind of adding in any thoughts, and then the attending's kind of there, obviously making a presence, but more so in the background and letting us take control, so it's really cool like that. Every patient has a teaching point, and that teaching point is actually brought forward by our resident teacher. So there's a specific role on the team for that resident teacher to educate both the family as well as the residents on the team. The patients know us as residents to be their primary doctors, and the families ask us the questions, and when we pre-round every morning, um, we're able to gauge what the questions will be and come prepared. We always look for that opportunity to educate our residents with every patient. The benefit of our program is that we do a lot more than just learning general pediatrics and pediatric specialties. We do a lot about becoming physician leaders in the area, about how to be a good teacher, a good manager, and be an overall well-rounded physician so you go one step beyond just learning pediatrics and learning how to be a good physician. It's a great experience.